it's easy for you to say. <laughs> I'm going to ask uh, His Worship Mayor Brad Woodside if he would bring uh, greetings from the city of Fredericton. Mayor Woodside. Thank you very much, Your Honor, Honorable Minister, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Irving, MLAs, Councillors, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure on behalf of my colleagues to bring greetings and be here today. I was chatting with Mr. Irving and we talked about the phone conversation when he gave me a call and said, Brad, how much is it going to cost to fix up that statue? And I told him and he said, well, get it done and send me the bill. And I said, <laughs> well, I paused for a little bit. I thought it was, uh, I thought I was being pranked. But I said to him, Mr. Irving, uh, I, I do so very much on behalf of all New Brunswickers, appreciate this fine gesture, and I want to make sure that you're recognized for it. And he said, that's not important, that's not what it's for. So it could very well have been that this could have been an anonymous uh, presentation. Uh, but it was very important to us that we acknowledge those that have been so kind and generous. And also talking with Mr. Irving, you know, it was over a hundred years ago and a lot of people gathered to celebrate this beautiful, beautiful likeness of Robbie Burns, one of only two in the world by uh, the famous sculptor. And then all of a sudden we're back here again. What Mr. Irving and I were talking about was in a hundred years time, we do not want somebody going around and passing the hat and saying, well, whose responsibility is it? Who is going to look after it? So what I'm going to do today, and I don't know if I can even do it legally, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> what I'm going to do today, and I'm going to ask Councillor Chase and uh, Councillor Graham to make the motion and have it seconded that uh, in a hundred years' time, if there's any restoration work or maintenance to be done on Robbie Burns, there will be no mistake who will be responsible for it and who will take ownership of it on behalf of all Scots in New Brunswick. That will be whoever the mayor is in a hundred years from now and the city council. So, I do have witnesses. It's the right thing to do. Whether I can or can't, it's the right thing to do. Councillor Chase, you're going to make that motion for me. It's going to be on the record if anybody wants to look at the record. And uh, that's the least that we, as your provincial capital, can do for your wonderful contribution over 100 years ago to have this beautiful statue here for all New Brunswickers to enjoy. So it's our responsibility, and we graciously accept it, and we will look after it for the next hundred years. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Mayor Woodside. And I'm sure that that was uh, photographed and uh, recorded on lots of digital recording. <laughs> so there's no way out now. Whoever, whoever succeeds you. Uh, as, as, uh, as Mayor Woodside mentioned,